disappointing today, wasn't it? Yeah. In the end, especially yeah. with um, having been 2 0 down, <coughs> getting into a winning position. Yeah. Uh, is it is it is the same old theme with United right now? Is, does that does that show why we're in the position we're in? I, I think we made the same mistake that Arsenal made yesterday. So uh, if you watch the game Arsenal um, against um, who was it um, against um, Southampton, yeah. they played three at the back, okay, and you could see that they were not used to that system, and we did the same thing today. I think that was a big mistake. We can't be coming to. Um, teams like this and be afraid and be scared and be using the same tactics as we used against Liverpool mm. and expect it to work. They were very brave out there, the, the Sheffield United players. Did we pay them too much respect? Uh, too much respect. And for me, Pereira, Pereira is just not a Manchester United player. I'm sorry. I've mm. watched this guy. I, I, I was giving him a you know tr chance, some yeah. a chance uh, uh, about a year ago, but I've watched him this season. He's terrible. Mm. He, he holds on to the ball too long. His decisions are very poor. He doesn't know when to release the ball. He gets dispossessed very easily. You, you saw in the first half, mm. and even the goal. The, the goal was score. his fault, the second goal, yeah, in the second half. But yeah. he made that mistake in the first half twice. Yeah. He got dispossessed twice in the first half. Mm. Pereira can, should not play for this Manchester United team again. Mm. He's, he's poor. And it's, it's recurrent, it's happening every time. People say, oh, give him a chance, give him a chance. No, he's mm. poor. Pereira is terrible. Got, I, I, looking for, I mean, Lingard came on yeah. um, in that position. Yeah. Did he score? He scored? Or well, he had a good impact? Yeah. Did he, Lingard yeah. score today? I couldn't see any of the goals. It wasn't Lingard who scored, was it? But he had a good impact on the game. Yeah. <laughs> is it chance for him to maybe get a chance? And, uh... Ling, again, Lingard, Lingard is inconsistent. Lingard can't play in the midfield. And... What we lack right now is that number 10 position. That's, uh, the board made a terrible mistake not investing in that region. We should have bought someone like Bruno Fernandes or someone that can, or maybe even an Ericsson, someone that can hold that number 10. Pereira cannot play the number 10, but at least he's, he's manageable there. But putting him in the midfield alongside um, Fred was a disaster. Now we know how much we miss McTominay. McTominay has grown in stature. Does in this show country. how important McTominay is? I mean, showed, look how we are without him. It showed so much how much we miss McTominay today. I mean, Mc, McTominay had the energy, which every single Sheffield United player had that same energy. And we seem to lack that energy in the first half. We seem to, no one, you know, you, you could see um, uh, the captain, uh, Maguire, getting angry at the players, you know, telling off uh, Pereira mm. in the first half. It just, there was no drive. I just, the big mistake, as far as I'm concerned, is that Solskjaer, the formation was bad. Mm. Jones is a disaster. Waiting, it's a time bomb waiting to explode. I, I tried, I'm not going to lie. I tried to, 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 to see the thinking behind Jones playing instead of no. Tuin Zabie because he's coming back. And Jones. you think, you know what, let me try and give him a chance. And he just Jones never is, fails to disappoint. It's, it's, it's havoc. It's, it's just a wreck. It's a mm. train wreck. Mm. Look, look what he did. I mean, mm. the guy just gave him a little shove and he was oh, all God. over the place and, mm. and that was the first goal. And off at half time shows his thinking, Ollie's exactly. thinking in terms of actually, and he's trying to rectify this mistake. So when I saw the formation today, I was like, oh my God. Because mm. I watched the Blades game against Spurs, mm. and I saw how they put Spurs to the sword. I, had, so I saw how they really put Spurs under pressure. Mm. I was like, wow. Mm. If they can do that away from home, what are they going to do to us here? And I was like, we can't go come here with fear. We can't, we can't, we can't come here and be scared and you know play them like we're playing Liverpool. No, we should play them like we're playing, like we played Norwich, like we played Brighton. We played Brighton, we put Brighton, you know, we were on the front foot. We were, and as soon as Brighton put, pulled the goal back, we went forward and, and, we, and, we, and, we, and we put another one up. So much back passes today. Every time Pereira gets the ball, the first thing he's thinking about is turning back and who to pass back mm. to. Just. There was no... I, I heard Gary Neville say, oh, that the, the front three are not moving. Yes, they were not moving as much in the first half. But it's up to a skillful playmaker... Behind them, right? Behind them, Setting them in, to yeah. send them in. Yeah. Pereira was not doing that. He was woeful. Mm. People say... I, I, I listened to the other chap say that Fred was bad. Fred wasn't that bad. Mm. 
It's just that Fred was just not used to handling that midfield on its own. Mm -hmm. On his own as well he today, had, without McTominay, McTominay next to him. Yeah. him. And he's, he's gotten so used to McTominay beside him. Playing Pereira beside him was just a complete disaster. Yeah. To finish off, yeah. Pochettino, I have to ask you, like I've asked everyone today, yeah. Um, yeah. Mourinho obviously at Spurs. Yeah. What do you think of the Pochettino situation? Or would you like to see him at Manchester United or would you still like to see how it pans out with Solskjaer? If Pochettino is going to be a risk. For me, Solskjaer um, just doesn't have that pedigree. Mm. He's good as an interim marriage manager, but I think it was sort of like a knee-jerk reaction to, to have installed him as a permanent manager. He just doesn't have that pedigree. But what he, I can see what he's doing. It's just that you can see that he has no experience. You could see the poor decisions he's making, particularly the, the formation to start this game. It's like he's coming in scared. But I won't sack him just yet. For po Pochettino, the, my, my worry with Pochettino is that he doesn't seem to have that, you know, that killer instinct to win titles. He, do, he, doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't believe that winning titles is, is a big deal. Yeah, which obviously is yeah. at United. And for me, that's not the Manchester United way. We need someone who can win titles. Someone that I would love to see. But the, the coach I wanted to take over from Ferguson was Klopp. Mm. But we missed Klopp. Mm. I never wanted Mourinho. But the coach that I want to see, actually, if we can get him, is Digo Simeone. Mm. Now, people say he plays a lot of defensive football. But you can see he has passion, he has drive, and he wants to win. You know, he wants to win things. And he has won, he has won I think he's yeah, won he the has, cup, yeah, some yes. cups. And he won the league as well. He won the league yeah. as well, exactly. And he has that drive. And for, for me, Guardiola, Klopp, top there, yeah. up on top. But next in I'm line Simeone. is Simeone. Thank you very much for talking to yeah. us, man. Thank All you. Right. Big thank you to you guys for watching the latest of our videos. And if you want to check out more, make sure you do that just to the right of me. We are the biggest and best Manchester United channel in the world. Make sure you check us out on all of the socials as well. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. The socials are along the bottom. Peace.